Hey guys, this is Eni with hopefully a quick tutorial on how to make a W Robot Fire Class profile. Um, to do this, you're going to have to have a robot in the game that you want to make the Fire Class for. Of course, you're going to have to launch your W Robot bot client itself. And in the, in the install directory, there should be something called a Fire Class editor. So just open up that one. It takes a couple seconds to come up. And it's going to look something like this. Alright, let's get started. Um, we're playing an arms warrior here. So we're going to tr start with adding some spells. Usually, oh, I, I try to always just pull the spells directly out of the out of the the WoW client. Um, all you need to do is just put the name of it in there and add spell. Um, I find that I sometimes typo or sometimes the 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 fight class editor is case sensitive. So if you're actually copying it exactly as it is, um, you'll find that you won't get any um, any issues like that. All right. So as I said, we're playing Arms Warrior. So I'm just going to have three spells to start this. This is just an example. Um, okay, so first thing you're going to notice, the second you click a spell, you're going to have your spell settings here. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can look at. Um, the main thing you need to know is timer. Um, you you want to kind of have that timer resembling what the cooldown for your spell is. So for charge, I know charge is around a 15 second cooldown. I know it's got two, two pulses, but whatever. So I'm going to make a charge, my top priority, the higher the priority number, the more likely, likely the bot is to use it. And the timer here is in milliseconds, so a 15 second timer is 15,000. Okay, uh, Mortal Strike, that's down a bit further, and I know Mortal Strike has a 6 second. Rend, Rend doesn't have a timer itself, and I'm going to have to put a condition in so it doesn't just spam Rend. So what I'm planning for the bot to do here is charge, rend, and then just mortal strike, hopefully, until it's dead. Um, you know what? Let's also grab execute. Okay. Perfect. Now, um, so you've got your, your spell settings here. As I said, your timer is important. Um, your priority. So I'm going to have execute as a high priority but of course we can't always use it so I'm going to have to put a, a, a target health condition in there. Look there's some other stuff you can look in the in the spell settings. Um, most importantly is buff. Um, AOE, if you've got like healing rain or blizzard or thunderstorm you can actually say yes this is an AOE, AOE spell and do you want to put it on your position which is probably true if it's like healing rain or something or do you want to put it on like a target, condi uh, target position for a warrior just a general arms warrior it's all pretty straightforward. Alright, so what we have here is, you know, charge is the highest priority. So first thing he's going to do is charge into the, the mob, execute. You, for those who play Warrior, you can't execute on less than 20% health. So you're going to have to put in a condition there. Rend, which is fairly straightforward, and Mortal Strike. Now the problem is, you, I've got Rend as a higher priority than Mortal Strike. So it, the bot potentially is just going to sit there going Rend, 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 and it's never going to flick down the Mortal Strike. The way to get around this is obviously to put a timer on it. Your other option is to do it is is a, a target buff condition. So let's start from the top. We'll go execute. We know that the target health needs to be below 20%. So here's your, here's your condition, target health. So we select execute. We add a condition for execute. And we want it to be uh, small than or equal to, to 20%. Okay, um, so that just means that if the target's less than 20%, this spell becomes available to the to the to the bot. Um, the next one's rend. Um, there's no real health percent requirement for rend, but what I'm gonna I don't want the bot to just keep applying a fresh rend. You know, rend lasts like 15 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put target buff, and the buff that rend puts on the target is actually called rend. So what this will do is say if the target has rend, you can't cast this spell. Or the flip side of that was if the target has rend, you can cast this spell. You know, an example would be like an elemental shaman trying to cast a lava burst. Only cast a lava burst if flame shock is true. Um, okay, and mortal strike, that's fine. And what else can we do? Slam. Okay, so what's real? Generally, what's going to happen here is um. Your, your rare and highly conditionalized spells will be at the top, and they'll have their big cooldowns, you know, there are lots of 
you know, requirements to, for the bot to cast the spell. And down the bottom is just going to be your space fillers. In this case, slam. You know, there, there's no cooldown on it. It's a fairly basic spell. It, it does, for lack of a better option, the bot will use this spell. All right, so let's save the fight class. What are we going to call it? Legion, warrior, lazy. So that saved it. What you're then going to do here is stop whatever this bot's doing, and we're going to load that profile we just made. Okay. So there it is. We've got charge. If it's below the target's below 20% health, we'll execute. We'll apply rend, and we're going to actually have to find someone to kill first. All right, let's see what he does. So there's charge. There's rend. Look, I think it's probably not a good demonstration with a fully heirloomed warrior, but you can sort of see how you can build a fight structure like this. Now look, these are just two, they can, I showed you two conditions, they're usually the main ones I use. Um, some other important ones is um, hostile, um, hostile unit near target. Pretty much all this is going to do is say, if you've got three enemies within you know, 10 yards, let's just add the condition, you're going to have your number will be, let's say, three enemies within you know, 10 yards, um, cast Whirlwind. So you're sort of not spamming your AoE when you've only got one mob in front of you, but the second you flick over to two or three mobs near you, hey, yeah, start start hitting that Whirlwind, start hitting that Arcane Explosion, whatever you're really playing with. Um, what else is there? Um, buff for you. Um, so if you've got a buff, so for execute, you know, the sudden death proc, which is, you know, a warrior can use, as long as we, I have this buff, I can cast a spell, I can make another execute that removes the health percent, and say, oh, okay, if I've got this buff, um, I need, you know, was it, uh, sudden death, true, I'm saying, if I have this buff, you can cast this spell, um, yeah. Look, there are so many options here, um, and I think if you actually go through it, you can find something that will apply to what you're trying to do. Um, it is my experience that simple is better. I've seen some big fight classes, and there's just so many of the same spells and so many conditions. And, I mean, the bot's not perfect. It's, it's a bot. It's not going to be like a human player. And I think simple is good enough and simple usually works better than the overly technical fight classes. Um, that said, if you can get your fight class down pat, you're obviously going to be in better DPS than I will with a with a relatively simple fight class. Look, um, I think that's all that really needs to be said without boring you folks with you know an explanation of what every single um, condition here does. But if you look for an in-game mechanic, I think Droids has done pretty well by adding it in here. Um, and I think, you know, hopefully y'all can make some, some good fire classes for me. Hope this helps someone. Cheers.